Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. This is episode two in this three-part series uh, dealing with our starting five graphic. And uh, as you remember, that's what it looked like. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to bring in the data uh, for this graphic right here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to be using the list widget in vmix UTC uh, to bring in all this player information. So we're going to show you how to do that and so much more on today's episode of One Man Stream. So what we need to do first is go to our vmix UTC layout. And this is what it looks like. And there's not a whole lot that we need to do. Uh, this first button I made here is just to bring in the starting five graphic. And I'll click on it. And it'll bring that in along the bottom. And I'll take it back out. And I'll show you what I did here. It was very simple. Uh, this is just uh, one of the button widgets. And I use the overlay input X command. And that allows me to use it as a toggle. And then the input that we mapped this to was the basketball starting five graphic that we've talked so much about, and we're bringing it in on overlay channel three. So when we click it, it's going to bring it in and we'll click it again and it takes it out. On each one of the player profiles, we have the team logo and this is how we brought the team logo in. I used a list widget. And you can see right here, it is a list widget. And what I did is I brought in the graphic five times, the basketball starting five graphic. I brought it in by clicking the plus button. I clicked it five times. And then I brought this piece of information in uh, from the available inputs. And it's a uh, basketball starting five. And then what I did is uh, on each one of those uh, graphics, let's move this out of the way. On each one of these, there is a team name, and the first one just says team name, and then this one says team name one, team name two, team name three, team name four, and this happens when we did the copy and paste. Each time, it would just add a, uh, it would increase the digit by one uh, for each one of the elements. So this was the team name element. So what I did is I brought in team name. Team name one, team name two, team name three, team name four. And then I just came down here to under items. And you can create a quite a, an extensive list. But I just hit the plus button three times and I brought in three team names, uh, Louisville, Duke, and Gonzaga. And just click OK. Well, when you come up here now with this drop down menu, uh, right now it is on Gonzaga. If you click Louisville, you'll notice they all changed to Louisville. And if you click Duke, boo, it all changes to Duke. So let's get it back to uh, where it was initially at Gonzaga. And so that's how we uh, populate the team name portion uh, of the starting five graphic. Now this next part is the team logo. We did that the same way using a list widget once again. And we brought in the same uh, input five times uh, like it did on the team name. Uh, each time we copied and pasted it, it added a digit to it. So we have the original team logo, and then team logo one, team logo two, team logo three, team logo four. And we have it set right now to uh, more. And if I click here, it'll change to the uh, yellow jacket uh, logo that we have. And if we click it one more time, it'll change to this logo here. And you can see we have some fine adjustments that we need to make to the graphics uh, that we will do uh, before we send this graphic live in one of our productions. But uh, just for demonstration purposes, you can see that. Now, the last part uh, that we did uh, has to do with the players. So we have uh, five, the starting five, and we have five players. And this is how we did that. Under mapping, we brought in the basketball starting five graphic, and then we have three pieces of information that we're mapping it to, the player number, the player name, and the player image. And what, we're, what we did is we're using uh, the bar delimited uh, data function in the list widget, and what it's doing is it's coming to this first piece of information, which is player number, and it's going to put in the number. 
on this uh, line of information. And then the next piece of information that comes to is player name. So it's going to come to the second bit of information and put that information in under player name. And then it's going to go on to the next piece of information, which is player image. And here's the player image. And it's going to put that under player image. Now, the one thing you have to remember, and I've harped on this quite a bit, uh, when you're bringing in these images, when you're uh, copying the path, it's also going to bring in the quotation marks. And you have to go back, at, go back in and take those quotation marks out before that image is going to appear in your graphic. So make sure you do that. Go back in and take those quotation marks out. So if we wanted to change this one up, we could do it. We can uh, say we want to change it to Susan Jones. We click on Susan Jones and you can see it takes that first player and it changes it to Susan Jones. But let's go ahead and change that back to what we originally had it at as John Smith. And we'll click it and it does it as John Smith. Now the reason it is doing this and it allows us to do this is with the bar delimited, uh, bar delimited data uh, function, we have to make sure that we have the table, uh, we have to check this tick box here as a table. If not, what it will do is it will come to this first piece of information and it's going to put that in under number, it's going to put it in under name, and it's going to put it in under image. And that is certainly not what we want. Uh, we have to do it as table, so it will go to each, uh, so it will go to the next piece of data in the table to put it into the next available area. And once again, the three areas were player number, player name, and player image. So let's go ahead and bring the graphic out and we'll bring the graphic back in one more time. Uh, you can see the animation and you can see how that information comes in. This is the second installment in this uh, three-part tutorial series we're doing on the starting five graphic. The third and final installment will be using data from an Excel spreadsheet uh, to bring that information into this graphic. And we're also going to be using uh, the VLOOKUP function in Excel. So make sure you tune in for that. So this is today's episode of One Man Stream. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and a like, and make sure that you subscribe so that you'll be alerted uh, when any new videos are posted. Thank you very much.